This video is a continuation of our series on epithelial tissues and we will be covering stratified cuboidal epithelium. So in our last video we looked at our first stratified tissue which was stratified squamous epithelium and in this video we're going to take a look at stratified cuboidal epithelium. So let's define an epithelial tissue. Hopefully by now you are very aware that an epithelial tissue is going to border the outside environment or line our internal spaces. And with stratified cuboidal epithelium, we are coming back to those internal spaces, which we call a lumen. So here's a small review of a couple of the tissues we've looked at so far. On the left you see stratified squamous epithelium and that's going to be all of this right here, that whole dark pink area. In some places it is shorter and in some places it is much taller, but all of that dark area is stratified. So stratified, again, means that we have multiple layers. Looks like I accidentally erased some of that there. Stratified means that we have multiple layers. Squamous means that the cells on our apical layers are squamous in appearance. Here is simple cuboidal epithelium on the right. And remember, cuboidal epithelium, we've got really nice round cells or nuclei, I'm sorry, we've got really nice round nuclei and then our cells are square shaped and it is simple because we only have one layer of cells and it's cuboidal because of that nice square shape and that beautiful round nucleus. So when we look at stratified cuboidal epithelium we are going to look in the skin and this is a different picture of the skin than we saw before. If you want to orient yourself, your stratified squamous epithelium would be up here on top. So we would have those wavy layers of keratinized tissue and then our stratified cells followed by some cuboidal cells. So this area here, that is our epidermis. It's a lovely picture. And remember, our epidermis is stratified squamous epithelium. And then down here, what we see is our dermis. So our stratified cuboidal epithelium is going to be embedded in our dermis and that's going to be these dark purple areas that we see here. There's one over here as well. We've got a little one right there and a couple more over here. So for consistency's sake, let's go ahead and do our name breakdown. Stratified, you've got more than one layer of cells. Cuboidal, our cells are going to be cubed shaped. Remember, we have a beautiful round nucleus inside of a nice square-shaped cell, and we're going to see that in uh, our close-up here in a second. And then epithelium, we are bordering an internal space. So let's do the details of our stratified cuboidal epithelium. Description of cells, where we're going to have more than one layer of cuboidal cells, but our cells are really going to retain that nice cuboidal shape. For locations, well right now we are in our dermis of our skin and what we're looking at is a portion of a sweat gland and specifically we're looking at the duct of the sweat gland. So remember, our simple cuboidal epithelia could be found in the ducts of glands. And here we have our stratified cuboidal epithelium also making up the ducts of glands. And we're going to be specific and say that those glands are sweat glands. We also see stratified cuboidal epithelia 
where we are producing our gametes. So in our ovaries, we are going to produce eggs. So we can say the follicles of our ovaries. And just like in females that produce eggs, we are going to see stratified cuboidal epithelium in sperm-producing ducts in our males, and those are called seminiferous tubules of our testes. So for functions, we are going to contribute to the secretion of sweat, and we are going to uh, secrete some ovarian hormones to promote the development of our ova or our eggs and then we're also going to aid in the production of sperm. So I like to simplify my functions and if you give me secretion as a function that is perfectly alright. So let's take a closer look at what we're seeing here. Here we have a close-up view of our uh, sweat gland ducts, and I see a mistake on my slide. Stratified cuboidal epithelium does not do absorption, it does secretion. So let's correct that right now. Just secretion. But if we take a look at our picture, we can see we have nice round nuclei that are indicative of cuboidal epithelium and we can see we have multiple layers of those nuclei. We're about two or three cells thick in some places. Here we are three cells thick, uh, here we are only two cells thick. But in all areas we have more than one layer of cells. So let's just take a moment and compare our stratified cuboidal epithelium with our simple cuboidal epithelium so that we can see them side by side. Here we go, on the left it's that same stratified cuboidal epithelium where we have multiple layers of cells in all of our ducts and here on the right we only have one layer of cells in our epithelium. So you can see that they have basically the same shape. We have these nice round structures with a round lumen. In stratified cuboidal epithelium, sometimes our lumen is not round. So in this case, here's our lumen and it's kind of oval shaped. So we don't always see that perfectly round structure, but our cell shapes stay the same. Here in this picture, we're seeing another view of stratified cuboidal epithelium. And you can see we have those nice round nuclei, but we have multiple layers of cells. And here we do have a nice round shape, but it is pretty distinct from our simple cuboidal epithelium because we do have so many layers of cells between the outside of the epithelium and the lumen. And finally, one more um, example of a stratified cuboidal epithelium. Again, this one does have that nice round shape to the entire thing, but you can see that we have multiple layers of cells between the basal layer of the epithelium and the apical layer of the epithelium. As always, if you have questions, please contact your instructor.